Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about this holiday look. It's going to be great for parties, great for everything that's going to be coming up after Thanksgiving because this look was fantastic with Thanksgiving. I had a fantastic time at Thanksgiving. I hope you guys did too. And now it's time for holiday party. Yes! Cocktails are going to be inspired, or at least this week's cocktails are going to be inspired by Christmas, holidays, fun, party, cranberries, cinnamon, snowman, deliciousness. That's what's going to happen this month. So yeah, today we're going to be making a cranberry margarita. A little spin on that with my friend Rachel. She's going to do a little spot in appearance. And yeah, so <laughs> bottoms up. Welcome to my channel today and with my friend Rachel right here. We are going to be making a, what is it called? A cranberry margarita. Yum. <laughs> Yay! Holidays! Okay, this is what you're gonna need. Tequila, triple sec, cranberry <laughs> juice, or a cranberry juice cocktail, and lime. So we have three different <laughs> options for lime. We have a Lucador lime margarita mix actual limes and we have a lime uh what is this called sweets bottle squeeze squeeze bottle a lime squeeze bottle <laughs> but we need three fourths of a cup of each so we're gonna how much is this supposed to make is it making three cups, cups? we probably could just do one round right and not have to sure okay Cheers. but that's okay we're we're just gonna use two shakers, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna need one and a half cups of cranberry juice. One and a half cups of cranberry juice. Now that I think about it. <laughs> and a half cup. Okay, right, now we need three three fourths cup of fresh lime juice. Or or lime mix. Or lime squeeze. Or lime squeeze. <laughs> it's your choice. That's a lot of limes if you were to freshly squeeze oh, a lime. A lot of limes. Yeah, that'd be six limes. Mm -hmm. That would take a long time. Unless you're in like California or Mexico and have the fantastic giant lime trees and get your giant, they're like the size of oranges. <laughs> this is really <laughs> full. There's no room for, for liquor now. <laughs> Goodness. I have some more ice for that. All right, now we'll need three fourths cup of tequila. Tequila. Three fourths cup of a tequila? I think the quantities. <laughs> Don't shortchange us. No, I'm just kidding. Come on. <laughs> Add a little extra. Half a cup of orange flavored liqueur. Okay. Or a triple sec. Or a triple sec, or both. <laughs> That's right. You can split. We can split it. I love the smell. It smells delicious. Mm. Mm. But tequila smells just yeah. <laughs> smell yeah. from here. <laughs> we'll do a fourth of a cup of triple sec. And but fill the rest up with this Patron Citronage Orange Liqueur. Oh. Uh, Can't really see. That's good. Like it all. <laughs> Ooh, so pretty. It does. Oh, Christmas. -ish. If we had fresh cranberries, we could garnish with that, but yes. we don't. Or even an orange peel would be nice. That would be nice. Just Especially. options. Exactly. Yeah, you know, this would look really pretty if you had it like with a, a cactus dressed with the lights. I mean like a Mexican <laughs> Christmas yeah, cactus. Yeah, we would have I know. <laughs> that would have been great. Hey, okay. after a couple of these, we, who knows? We exactly. Might <laughs> we might just dress up a cactus. <laughs> Whole other show. Whole other show. <laughs> Right, you want to put, you can either do salt on the rim or not, and so she's going to put salt on this one. I've always been told I'm a little salty. <laughs> so you rub it with the lime juice and then dip it in a salt mixture. Ta -da! Oh yeah, and you can also like dye it with red. Yeah, that'd that would be, be fun. very mm -hmm. festive. <laughs> okay, without getting ice in it, didn't think about that. <laughs> I've one of those. Using martini glasses because we want to be fancy. We are fancy. <laughs> we'll even get <laughs> pinkies out. Pinkies out. <laughs> Cheers. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm. That's really good. It's really smooth. Mm-hmm. 
Like you don't have that tartness of a normal margarita. Yeah. It's really smooth. I like that. It just works really well with tequila. Mm. Who would have thunk it? And gin. Really? Remember? Oh yeah, that cranberry. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, cranberry is so in this season. <laughs> it's good for you too. It is, except for the juice cocktail. That's not that I feel like I'm eating healthier by the drink. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Maybe we should love it. <laughs> We'd be super healthy today. Super healthy. <laughs> and super drunk. <laughs> sure is. Well, we're gonna continue drinking these, and I hope that you guys enjoy the video and have fun watching the tutorial. Be a recipe posted below. Yes, all the stuff is gonna be posted below. Like the video, share it because sharing is caring. La 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 la. La 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 la. All right, so I've already primed my face with the Glorious Face Nine Makeup Primer, and then I also had already done my foundation in the shade Scarlet, and my blusher and bronzer in the shades Sweet and Sunset. Then we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Moonstruck Addiction Shadow Palette One, and with the brush in Deluxe Brush. It's a fluffy brush. It's great to set the concealer or any creases that I have on my eyelids. And I use the shade Elated to start off and go all the way up to the brow bone to get me that nice, sleek, clean look. And then we're gonna go in with my crease after all this is set with the crease brush in the shade Chipper. And that one is what I'm going to use as a transi transition shade in the middle of the crease and kind of make that easier for the dark lid that I'm gonna do so it transitions seamlessly and perfectly. I'm gonna start with my right eye and then go on to my left. for singing the Lady Gaga song. <laughs> and then we're gonna start with the Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Skeptical. And with the Cream Shadow brush that Unique provides, or you to buy it, but it, it's a great brush for this in particular shade, or in particular product. And you're gonna start low, very low, closest to the lash line, and kind of work your way up. I like to go up to my crease, and then I will blend it out and create this little wing because I probably will do a wing liner anyways and so it kind of helps guide the shadows to look seamless and perfectly rounded. And then I'm going to take that crease brush and go back in with that shade chipper and kind of blend it out and that way it all transitions together even though this cream shadow does kind of start to come off you have to do it very quickly work very quickly so that it doesn't um, rub off any of that color while it's still wet and so that's why the left eye looks a little bit darker than the right because it is still wet they do end up looking perfectly the same after they both dried blend 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 then I'm going to do the bottom and kind of shade that out and then smoke it in the outer corners just to give you that smoky evening look you can skip this step if you'd like, or if you have a not so black color, you can use any other cream shadow, and this works, this technique works perfectly. I'm gonna take that chipper with the crease brush and blend it out on the bottom as well. Then with the shade Brassy, we are going to go in the inner corners and brighten up that inner corner and the inner bottom lash. With the precision pencil in the shade Perfect, I'm going to do my waterline on the bottom and top and do a little bit of a cat eye on the top lash line. And curl your lashes, curl, 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 and use the mascara. Start off with the transplanting gel. And you're gonna do one eye at a time. Do the top first and then the bottom lash. I think I accidentally just did both top, top and bottom with the transplant gel the first time, so I ended up just going through with it and using the fibers on both the top and the bottom. So use the fibers. Normally you'd only just do it at the tips, but it looks like I went in all the way. So you want to do just the tips, mostly just to make sure that you 
um, do not create any clumps and then seal it with more transplanting gel and go on to the other eye after you finish the other eye. The other eye? One eye. Finish one eye and then go on to the other eye. That works best. We're going to go ahead and start on the brows. I use the brow pencil in the shade medium. I brush them out with a spoolie and then I start on the outer ends and work my way inward with little tiny strokes. It makes the best looking natural eyebrows that I have done. Lastly, we use the lucrative lip gloss in Lovable. Nice pink with this smoky look. And that is it. I hope that you enjoyed it and hope you tried it at home and let me know how you like it. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and cocktail recipe. It was delicious. I loved it. I hope you love it. Try it at home. Let me know in the comments if you liked it or liked the video or a thumbs it up or a share it or Anyways, do whatever you'd like to do. It's your world. I just live in it. You can find me on any social media. I'll have it all listed right here and also down below. And I hope that you, if you like any of these products, that you can shop at home from my website at makeupandcocktails.com. And yeah, so com contact me if you have any questions or if you would like to know more about anything or anything. If you just want to say hi, contact me. I have my email listed below as well. And uh, so I hope you have a fantastic week, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.